Good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is AJ and I'm gonna show you guys how I average around $300 out here in Long Island, New York, shopping at three primary stores. My primary stores are Costco's, BJ's, and Aldi. And they all have one thing in common. They don't have bags. Let's get started. So the reason why I uh, I don't like using bags is for, is for multiple reasons. One, because it takes too long for me to um, actually bag the groceries. So I just prefer to put them in boxes. It helps me organize better. It helps me keep like items together and also allows me to stack the cart um, easier. And most importantly, it allows me to pretty much stack the boxes in my car properly and evenly without having bags fluttering also around. So as well as you're able to drop it off because in, in these pandemic times, um, we are just dropping off the groceries to the customer's house. So I think it's best to be able to do that quickly and efficient, efficiently, excuse me. Um, so that's personally why I use it. But I'm also gonna show you guys why and how I do it because I have a method to my madness. And it's funny because people kind of look at me and they're like, well, you know, why does he have a certain card or why does he do things a certain way so I'm gonna try to take you guys into a pretty much a shift of mind on how I uh, how I choose to shop and, and why for me it just makes sense um, because of everything is so time-sensitive now especially with how orders are flying off the screen and, and we try to cherry pick the best orders you know time distance weight um things of that nature so we're definitely going to go with that one thing that allows me to cut down on my time is definitely um the big the bigger warehouse stores opposed to the smaller ones because um costco's allows us to enter through the back door so for me i try to shop at costco's um, again, Costco's, BJ's, and Aldi. Aldi, I did work for the company, so for me, that's it's easy for me to shop at that store because um, I'm out in one, two, three, and I know mostly where everything is at other than certain key items and certain uh, special white items, which they rotate in every week. Um, so again, Costco's is my favorite place to shop um, as an Instacart shopper, not in general. Um, so it, it, it is my favorite place to shop because we are allowed to go in through the back door. We are allowed to go in earlier than the customers. We are allowed to also um, go um, stay in about a half hour early, later, excuse me, a half hour later because as of this, what, Tuesday, um, yesterday at the Mentor, we can't go in the store past 7 p.m. Um, so yes, that's why it's definitely my, um, definitely my favorite place to shop because they allow us a little perk and also we check out by the eyeglass station if 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 they do that because i know every area is different so in my area in long island um we allowed to check out at the uh at the eyeglass the eyeglass counter um so we get not to really skip the line but we have our own little special line that makes us feel like a little bit vip when you're walking around and you just uh 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 Moody pass, multi pass, multi pass, multi pass, but you know, that's a that's a fifth element reference for um, us older folk. So we do have some batches up, but me, I kind of like to work efficiently, and I also like to make my time worth it. So when I have these little twenty dollar orders, when I know that they can be doing better, I think with me is that I try to be patient. So I, f I feel like if I'm gonna make a trip to the store, I want it to be worth it. Um, I want I definitely want it to be worth it. So if it's something doable that I can take, I, I might take. But normal, normally anything under thirty, sometimes even forty, I won't take. If there's abundance of orders, if there's not an abundance of orders, then we're not really allowed to. Excuse me, I'm, I don't allow myself to be that picky. Um, but I definitely do cherry pick. Uh, um, I definitely do cherry, cherry pick our orders because. Um, again, time, distance, and uh, way of drop off. So again, out here in Long Island, everything is it's bigger streets. Everything is more spaced out. So for me, getting uh, getting to certain locations is not a problem. But when it starts to become over five miles, 
Um, now I have to, you also have to count for distance from your house to the store, from your store to, to their house, and again, back from their house, back to the store, because you only, well, not you only, but I think in my area, we only get everything in approximation, so it depends um, from BJ's, again, from BJ's, Costco's, and Aldi, it would only give you things in approximation, unless there's no orders or there's very little orders, and then they would send us out to different towns, which I'm opposed to going to because some other places are so far away, uh, upwards to 20, 20 something minutes, 20, 25 minutes, it's not worth going there because sometimes you'll get an order there and it'll push you, it'll push me further out to the city, and then I have to come all the way back out here to go to Costco's, and I don't want to make that mistake where I've done that before, and it eats up so much time upwards of 40 minutes of just driving back to the location that I want to go to and also um, you should definitely try to stick to your area if possible again Long Island is a little different than some of you guys city so definitely try to stick to your your area as 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 much as possible because knowing your store is very very key and I'm gonna tell you why for me knowing your knowing your store is very key for multiple reasons one because familiarity of course um and it also makes you navigate the store quicker but the problem in these times with costco's and bj's is that they move stuff all around especially produce produce they move things around in my area all the time it, it does get annoying um but you just think that you can't prepare for this thing that you can't prepare for that you can't prepare for but you just gotta know also what I said was boxes, 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 because I'm, I don't like to use bags. So the reason why I like to use boxes, again, is because it helps everything go smooth. And I'm going to try to show you that when I actually get an order worth doing when I'm going to the store. So what I do, or where I get my boxes from is sometimes, um, most of the time, majority now, because they don't put boxes in front of the store anymore. Um, they sometimes put them under the at, at Costco's and PJ's. They sometimes put them under their table when you're checking out, but not a lot of the times they're gonna have it. And also, you can't rely on that when you have a big order because the boxes they put down there are very small. Um, so I try to get my boxes from produce for two reasons one, because of the size of the boxes, um, they allow me to put more stuff in there, they're a little more sturdy, especially with the boxes from the bananas, they're very, very, very sturdy. Um, and two, I know that there's going to be abundance of boxes there because I know people go through um, people go through bananas, um, which is, is, is quite understandable. And let's see, one more tip that I would also say um, before we get started, and we'll try to get started, um, is text your customer. Uh, if you guys haven't already, put in a custom greeting. Um, my greeting is, hey, um, you know, um, I'm shopping for you. I'm, I'm paraphrasing, of course, um, cause I don't want you guys to copy and paste, you know, have your own little bit of personality. Um, hey, I'm shopping for you. Um, just be aware that stuff are limited. Um, so I'm going to make substitutions. And if you don't like a substitution, just please put it, you know, please let me know. And, or please, um, put in your own substitution if possible. And understand that things are going to be limited, such as, you know, water, toilet paper. I didn't put that, but that's something that you can let them know. Um, also send pictures if you can. I know some people don't like doing that, but you should definitely send pictures to let them know that you're not out here just pretty much just ignoring the request because I don't know. Um, I don't know if they know that we get paid from a percentage, so I wouldn't tell them that, but at least make the effort. Um, if something's out or, or, or if, if a whole aisle, cause sometimes a whole aisle may be out, especially when it comes to TP or PT toilet paper, until, um, 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 toilet paper and paper towel. Um, it, it definitely, it definitely, 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 um, send them a picture to let, to at least verify, especially when it comes to the Lysol, the Lysol jugs, the Lysol spray or, or the Lysol wipes and the Clorox wipes. Like that's just not reasonable for them to get upset about, which some of them do, but you have to understand that as well. So I think you should definitely, definitely pay attention to that as well. So right now I'm turning down a $71 order because of multiple reasons one because it's not in the direction where i'm at um it's, it's not in the direction where i'm at so right now i'm sitting in the parking lot um of my gas station because we have quick check out here so i'm allowed to get something to eat coffee before i head over you know another mile up the road for for costco's but um shop right is in the opposite direction I, I have multiple problems with shop right um one customers 
um two um i don't know the layout of the store um and it's it, it'll take me too long to to do that um three um they don't provide boxes so everything is in the bag and it's just it's not convenient enough for me to make so many trips to and from the customer's house and for uh i use boxes uh, one thing I, ha I didn't mention was i use boxes because it makes it look professional you know some people like it some people applaud me for it and i'm again i'm going to show you guys in a little bit how and why um how why and and how how i do it why i do it and how also it looks um and also how like pretty much it, it looks in the car and and how easy it is to transport when i when i have all of these bags in the car stuff tends to fall out the bags tend to rip it's it, it's such a nuisance um and also that store gets really packed so i can be online upwards of 45 minutes um because there's only a few registers and again the the the, the stores aren't big and it's just it, it becomes it becomes too much work so something that can take me 45 minutes is going to end up taking me two hours to do and also the customer is 7.7 .7 miles away so even in long island you know 7.7 .7 miles is is not crazy um it's far don't get me wrong but the the time that it would take to get me there is is unreasonable um and it, it, it's far man it's far so again I, i'm going in two two directions that i don't want to be in i have to go to a separate town and then i have to drop it off you know two towns over and for me is for me it's not worth it um especially because it will take me another 15 minutes to get back in the area that i, I want to be in so i'm 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 gonna deny that one or not deny but i'm gonna ignore it unfortunately um don't call me greedy don't call me lazy um but again time versus um uh, time versus distance um so i i know that it can take me a shorter amount of time to bust out an order at costco's or bj's or even aldi aldi for me would be the fastest because i know where everything is at so it, it would take me a lot less time uh, to bust those orders out than it would take me in the shop right because I don't know where stuff is at there and the workers aren't the very aren't very helpful um they kind of look at you when you don't know what product is at and they're like unwilling to help or they'll just point they won't lead you um so for me that that that, that is not worth it it's not worth it so I just turned on another so I think it was $67 order from ShopRite because again same same thing as last time um not in the direction i'm going uh the distance is far and also it's like a hundred and something a hundred and something uh units it's like, it was like 67 by 100 and change and it's, it just it, it is it's gonna take too long and it's far but i did accept a small order from um from costco it's just to show you guys how i kind of do things and to get things going um something light so I'm, I'm gonna go rush to do that not rush excuse me i'm gonna go do that and then i think the drop off is is within two miles or something like that maybe within three miles um so i'm just gonna do that to show you guys my process um today is probably gonna be a slow day because it is a tuesday and i started a little bit late um because i had other things to take care of um unfortunately uh, that's the gig life right <laughs> um so I'm going to show you guys how I get started. Hopefully, it's not too crazy in there. Um, also, when you go in there early, it's difficult to film because um, you can't wear headphones. Um, so, it's difficult to film. So, forgive me if I try to show something or and, and or you guys can't hear me. Because they're real strict in the morning when the for, with the forklifts and they got things out on the floor, which I completely understand. Also, I have this this mask um this is the mask that i normally wear unfortunately um i rushed out the house this morning and i left two of my masks um in there i have three in my car all different every i have five different masks but um I, this is one of the three the other one just hurts the bridge of my nose the n95 it really crushes the bridge of my nose and it makes it very uncomfortable also it doesn't get the bottom of my chin so it, it doesn't allow me to do that so definitely i have my gloves before you guys ask i actually wear two sets of gloves i wear these and i wear thicker gloves that i can both spray down um and i have my mask as well so i got my spraying solution <laughs> i have my hand sanitizer um i do i also make my own hand sanitizer as well um so yeah so let's get it started so one thing about me <clears throat> is i like to be prepared right so i knew it was gonna rain today 
which I should have been more prepared for. I am prepared. Don't get me wrong. I am prepared. But I, it was supposed to rain this early, so I started drizzling it out here. So I was like, all right, so what? So me and my stupidity, I wore white. Um, like I said, rush out the house, not thinking. But in my car, I have waterproof sneakers and I have a windbreaker, which is waterproof. And of course, it's a windbreaker, so it protects against the wind. Um, so it's a small order. Um, and I'm thinking, should I change it now or later? So I don't know. Apology is going to change my sneakers now because I would I, it would suck for it to start pouring. And I don't have the proper sneakers on um, as it as the drizzling is starting to pick up. So it's so weird because it's so much. It's sun, like as you can see behind me, it's a lot of sun. But in front of me, it's a little dark. But these aren't like rain clouds. It's just straight. Like it's 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 not as, it's not dark enough to be rain clouds, but it's still raining. So you know, Mother Nature doing her own thing. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna show you my little VIP entrance. Not my, it's not my personal. But I'm gonna show you Instacarpet's little VIP entrance that we get to go through, even though it's a. It's not really a VIP entrance, so. <laughs> um, but I get it. They want us to go through the back to let us in early so we can shop and also not not uh, 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 cause confusion because some customers do um, unfortunately get upset if they see um, a shoppers going through the front. That's why uh, BJ's don't allow us to uh, go in a separate entrance because they let us go in through the front um, in front of people and it, and it causes a problem. So I, I kind of understand that as well. Um, but they should have had a better system implemented as Costco do. That's why I like um, going to Costco because it's very, very, very easy to shop here because we have our own stuff um, and it kind of it kind of veers us away. So let me guys take you through this uh, little montage of me walking in the back of the store, even though it's a little bit of a walk. So again, this is the card I use because it allows me to put so much more items on the um, the cart and it allows me to put items inside the boxes that I'm gonna go get. But again, it's early, so they don't let you do a lot of things in here. So I'm just gonna give you guys a little quick update of what's going on and how I do things. So right now I'm gonna head over to produce because I one, I'm gonna get my boxes and two, a lot of the stuff that the customer wants is in produce. So I'll be right back with that. And just like that, as I said, when you come to produce, it's a lot easier to uh, get boxes. They have it so conveniently stacked. Not for me, you know, that would be nice. But it's so conveniently stacked. So this is beautiful. I'm just going to grab a couple of these. And then I'm going to get what I need. And I'm going to be out of here. Perfect, 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 perfect. So again, the reason why I like to come to Costco's early is because this, when I, when I got here, it was... Um, maybe 15 cars there was like 15 cars in the parking lot now it's probably about 300 um it, that quick it gets crazy out here but this is how i have my cart easy to put in the car easy to bag just simple 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 so again if you want to guy if you guys want to cut time coming coming in out of store just make sure you grab boxes early and often again grab them when you can and, and let's go, let's put this in the car and let's go. Again, your car should look something like this. If you have an SUV, if you have, a, if you have a car, it's gonna look a lot different. But if you have a SUV, simple, boom, 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 one, two, three, and the car, out, done. Oh, on to the customer. Quick little drop off, quick little drop off. Um, fortunately, she came to, uh, she opened her side garage and she was able to, uh, I was able to drop the boxes in there and I was not forced to uh, take a picture um, which for me is always a plus because I don't I don't want to make the extra trip back to the car um, because I like to get my phone in charge so I can stay above 80% I don't I don't like to um, make extra trips so again when you guys use boxes like I do it allows you to take a lot, a lot less trips it allows you to um, carry more things, you know, if possible. For some of you guys, you know, you may not be able to. Um, you, you know, it, it allows you to take less trips. So I was only, I only needed to take two trips um, to the car because, um, you know, it's in four boxes, so it's just two and two, and then I'm done off. Um, so that for me, that's the benefit of doing it as well. I already know today I'm probably not gonna make 
around 300, one, because I have to stop and do something, and two, because the weather's not going to permit it, um, so, she was fortunate, she was happy, I was able to get her, uh, a Germex, I think that's what it's called, it's called the Germex, and it wasn't, it wasn't in the system yet, so I was able to get that for her, because she wanted hand sanitizer, so, she did give me a little, a nice little, uh, nice little file tip, um, which goes, you know, to my savings or whatever. Um, so, so yeah, it just, it's, it's good, man. It's good. So we'll see how the rest of the day goes and we're going to go from there and let's see, let's see what's going on right now. There's no Costco orders, but I'm, I'm actually going to drive back to Costco's because I am not willing to, um, do shop right and some of the other places that they want me to have. So we're going to see, man. So far I started off. Okay. It was still a low order. It was only a 20 something dollar order, um, which normally I don't take, but I just wanted to show you guys something real quick. And I'm gonna see where the rest of the day goes. Um, so yeah, let's go. So, 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 I had it, I seen the $85 order and I didn't take it for multiple reasons. Let me tell you why. So a lot of what's been going on, as some of you guys may have known, is tip baiting. So it was, it was an $85 order. It was um, 70, it was like 73 by 75 and I think the tip was like 50 something dollars it, and it's very enticing but I didn't take it for multiple reasons one because multiple times over these last four or five days that I've just got back into Instacart they've taken my tip away and this it, it also is a deterrent for me to do smaller orders as well because if a third of the pay is tip and then they take it it's like it's a slap in the face so it, it just it just it makes me very cautious but also i didn't take it again because i say i try to work in a certain area and also because i don't i'm not a key food person so i don't know key food like that so i don't want to keep you know i don't want to keep being in this hamster wheel of running you know, running, running back and forth to, uh, you know, to aisle, to aisle, to aisle, to aisle, not knowing where things are at, because I know that order for me shopping is going to take me over an hour to shop because I don't know the store. Um, I don't know the store and I don't know where things are at. And in some of these smaller stores, as I said before, people aren't as reluctant to help you. So it makes me very, very, very cautious on doing some of these orders. And I'm just like, for me, I'm not going to do it. Um, unfortunately that one, was stripped away as I was trying to read through the items and see what they have but like certain things like that just makes me very cautious of doing certain certain batches so right now I'm heading back to Costco's to pretty much wait for a decent order worth taking if not then I'm just gonna be here for a little bit and then if I wait too long then I might just end up taking a smaller order um, just to knock it out but it has to be close and when I mean close I mean like within to maybe three miles because I want to get back to the store and I want I want to get done as quickly as possible and I want to get back to the store as quickly as possible because as I said before if you further away from a store um you won't get you won't get batches for that store in my area in Long Island so either you gotta you gotta be like within a few miles to even get that because I live maybe four or five miles from here if that far and if I'm not up on I don't even see I don't even see batches from my house. I'll see batches in Port Jeff, which is 15 minutes away from me, but I don't see batches from here. So it's a little it's a little iffy. Like the algorithm needs to be a lot better. But yeah, so right now I'm just gonna wait out and see if I get a, a, a decent order. If not, then we'll see. I, I might take a smaller order. If not, then I, I'll try to come back with um, some more tips and tricks and things that I've learned to maybe help you guys out. So I'm, I'm, I'm about to do my second drop off of the day, and this one is a little more. Uh, it's a, it's a little more stuff. It's about double the amount of stuff from my, from the first from the first or the previous order. So right now I'm gonna show you guys how quick it is to uh, to drop stuff off when you have it in boxes. Um, for me, like I'm showing you my method to my madness. Um, just just trying to pull up to make sure I'm at because now now you know out here in Long Island. Um, when we deliver it, it be in the woods sometimes and, and they don't have addresses and things of that nature everywhere so i think i'm pulling up so I'll be right back so boom right there even though the the video sped up a little bit um it took me about a minute i think it was like 55 seconds 
to drop off four boxes and toilet toilet paper in toilet paper in paper towel taking about a minute but luckily um, in my area when you do go to some of these houses they have the donut or the horseshoe driveways so you can drive up right to the front uh, to the front door and just you know and just perfectly drop it off so it saves you a lot of time and effort um, some places out here have five six seven cars in the driveway and you got to walk through obstacle course you know with each box to drop it off so you know um, that doesn't happen too often but um, when it does it is it is it is very it's, it's very annoying I'm not even gonna say my new it's, it's very annoying but it is what it is and and done right there um, this order wasn't too too bad I don't think it was that too much money either. I think it was about $33 I think it was um, 40 and 43 40 by 43 or something like that so we're gonna see we're gonna head back and see if we get something else the day has been really 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 slow today but you know it, it's Tuesday and it is gonna rain so maybe it, it, it two things that happen it'll get either slower when it rains or it'll speed up because people don't want to do their own groceries so we're gonna find out let's keep going so I just accepted something that I normally would never accept um but again it's been a pretty slow day so I'm not gonna be too too picky as I normally would um this order was for it was a double order it was um about sixty nine dollars I think it was 30 items in total. If I seen correctly, it was 18 and 12. 18 for one customer, 12 for another customer. Everything was one. So that also was a thing. But it is 12 point something miles away. So about 13 miles away. I can cut down on that time because I can take a different route. So I'm not too upset about that. Um, so that was that was the that was the the um the benefit because I can know I could drop a certain different way out here in Long Island. We have you know multiple ways of getting places, fortunately, um, that I could take advantage of. So again, I do this for two reasons. One, because I wanted to make a video about it and show you how I also separate um, using my car as well. Um, I can use the left side and the right side. So I separate um, customer A goes into the left, customer B goes to the right because I read. Well, most of us read unless you you know read my manga. Um, we read left to right, so we also do numbers from left to right. So it'll be um, A A left and um, B right. So that's how I'll do it. So I split up. That's normally how I split up the groceries and everything. So I'm also going to show you um, how I do that. It's pretty much the same method, but normally I make a barrier in between the middle so I can know what is what. So, um, but doing doing it that way is very confusing to some people because I've seen where people. Um, they mix orders. Unfortunately, they mix orders, and you you, kind of, you tend to uh, give the customer the wrong thing sometimes. So, um, I think I got it down to a science, so I should be fine. But I know that it's not for everybody. I will say that it's definitely not for everybody. So, we'll see um, what's going on. And and also, it it is like a it is like a thirty five dollar tip. Like half the, half the order is in tip. So, I'm nervous because again, they they uh, they they take back the tips. And it's just, it's a little nerve wracking when you're about to put in so much work, energy, and time into something that's also probably about 20 minutes away um, when, when I'm going to drop it off. Luckily, both the houses are next to each other. It's not like I have to drop off one that's halfway and then the other one is further and that's all the way back. Both uh, drop offs is relatively in the same area um, within a half a mile, within um, 10 blocks, I believe, if I've seen it on the map correctly. So we're going to see. Hopefully, the store's not too crazy because when I would, when I, completed the last order the store was getting a little crazy so we're definitely gonna see so let's go so a quick update since i'm checking out in front is b and behind is a normally i would have a up here and b back here but because a is so much and b was so little and uh, i just had to swap the weight of the cart so it won't tip forward or i'm able to turn the cart better so again this is a and b normally it's flip-flop but this is how i organize it so when we get to check out it's a one two three process um and, and that's just how it is. Um, again, they, the, the cashier is really appreciated when everything organized. If you're not taking through your card, as you can see, other people are. Unfortunately, they can do their car. He's very not up. He's not upset, as you can see. He has to walk around to go back to 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 scan something at the bottom of this guy's cart because he's not organized. So when you come up like this, they're more, you know, they appreciate what you're doing more. So we'll see going forward, and then I'll show you guys how I stack it in the car. It's gonna be a little crazy, but. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how I stack it in the car when we get there. Alright, talk to you in a bit. So this is uh this is B and this is A. Unfortunately I have to load it a little fast because it started to pour out here. 
So I need to get back in the car and change my clothes so I could be ready for this weather. Okay, so it started pouring out here, um, which means a few things. One, I have to change my sneakers. Two, I have to put on my my um, my windbreaker. And three, um, I have to take this mask off because once it gets wet, you can't use it anymore, unfortunately. But I have a mask that was created by a um, by a customer. So they created me. They um, they had given me this mask as a uh, as a tip. So I'm gonna end up wearing this. So it fits well. Unfortunately for me, I have a beard, so everything pushes up forward. So, but I think it fits well. It looks nice. You no, know, thank you. Much, much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So right now I'm gonna drop this stuff off in the rain. So let's get it going. So as I said, uh, very quick drop off. Both, both drop offs was easy. The first drop off, which was the which the A drop off that had the bigger items, he came right outside in the rain. Had his little uh, had his little trolley. So I put everything on. And he took it. He took it and he's out. Perfect. So second thing, second one, I was able to pull up close. They only had the two small boxes um, because of the way I bagged everything and gone. They took everything. I mean, I dropped it off, took a picture. They left me a little, a little, uh, a little um, paper that says thank you Instacart. And um, let me see what that is before it gets too red. Already. So $3 tip. Listen, better than nothing, right? Better than nothing. So, headed back to the store. Let's see what we get. But, it seems like it's a little slow now. So, hopefully it does pick up back at the store. If not, I'm probably going to end it here. Because, one, I'm exhausted. Um, I didn't have my coffee today. So, maybe if I have my coffee, maybe I'll change my mind about working more. And, uh, two, um, the orders for Costco has been really, really, really bad lately. Well, as of today, I should say. Not as lately, because they've been really great lately, actually. But as of today, um, Costco's orders have been uh, very bad. Not only have they been low-paying, they've been far and few in between. So, we'll see. Head back over there. Let's see what we get. So, as I predicted, um, again, when it, when that, when that kind of, when this kind of weather hits, um, two things are going to happen. Um, either it's going to slow down, um, or it's going to speed up. So, um, as I took a a little break um i got a 50 dollar order um at my costco's the one that i'm at now and i think it's i think it's the 34 by 35 and it's 50 dollar order and i think the drop off is like two miles so that's freaking amazing especially now that it's 4 30 um so if i could finish by 5 15 i can get back and do one more order um depending on you know what it is so that's what i'm looking forward to now hopefully everything goes well um, but yeah, but this should put me over my $200 mark. I'm probably not going to reach 300 again because of the weather and other, other things that I needed to take care of today kind of interfered with it a little bit. Um, no excuses of course, but it is what it is. Every day can't be perfect. Um, but we're going to see, we're going to try to make the best of it. We're going to move forward. Luckily again, this wasn't what this was. This one wasn't as bad as I, um, today wasn't as bad as I thought it was, especially from the morning, from this morning, but we just got hit with rain, hail, lightning and thunder all at the same time so i had to pull over and wait and it was a bit it was a bit overwhelming but we're gonna go knock this out um the parking lot looks relatively empty from early when it was 300 people here it may be like 50 cars here now so again that was a few hours ago so you know time but whatever but let's get let's get to it man let's get to it another beautiful packing in the truck it's beautiful, simple, 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 simple. Load in and out. Hey boss. How you doing today? Do you need a hand for No, me it's, it's only three boxes. Okay, cool. You want to just put them on this bench here? Sure, perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. No problem. You too. Simple drop off, simple drop off. So we're approaching the winding down of the day. I did take another double order. It's about $77. I think it was like, I think it's 35 by 37 or 34 by 37. And I also know that um, there's only a few Costco orders left because I think you can't order after six o'clock if I'm not mistaken. So right now I'm just going to be headed back to 
the Costco's to do this last double order. Um, I think it was like 9.2 miles, but it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, you know, everything starts to slow down. I'll take another, uh, again, I'll take, an, I'll, I'll take a longer drive um, at a point because towards the end of the day, like there's not a lot available. And I already know that no matter what order I take, um, that's gonna end out my day um, because they stop letting people in at 6.30, they stop letting us in at seven. And, uh, and most of the shopping takes about an hour. So I'll be lucky if I get this done early and get back, but I doubt it. It's already, what, going on 5.40. So I'm, I probably won't make it back in time, but that's fine. Um, again, if I can close out over a little, uh, over about two, 250, normally I average three, 300 a day, but again, um, I had to do it, take a couple things. Um, I had to get, take a uh, little time off because I had to do a couple things today. So, you know, if, if I reach 250, I had a good day. So we're gonna find out and we're gonna see what this order is about. And then I give you guys uh, my last update for the day. So as I predicted, uh, that was gonna take me about an hour and change, maybe like a, yeah, an hour and change to do um, a lot of a lot of substitutions, a lot of um, add-ons at the last second. Which I don't mind. And again, I knew it was gonna be my last my last shop. So unfortunately, it is what it is. At the end of the day, um, doing this drop off uh, the the ca cashing out. Excuse me, she catching out. Checking out was the hardest part because uh, they mixed up the groceries. So it doesn't matter how good I. How, how good I separated it, they they uh they mixed up the groceries. So then I had to look at the receipt. I just had to pretty much redo it because two guys couldn't do the one job. So I had to redo it. So it was just it's annoying. It's a minor inconvenience, but it, it is annoying. Um, it, it ate up um, extra time that I didn't want to spend in there. Um, so I'm just doing my last two drop off now. And after that, um, I'm gonna be I'm going home for the day. Well, I have to go home for the day. Um, Actually, I don't. I can actually work BJ's, but I'm not going to. Um, BJ's is a is a little hectic um, sometimes too. And also, it's, it's I, I I just don't want to. I'm I'm good for the day. My results will be whatever my results are. If I hit the three, I hit the three. If I hit 250, I'm glad with 250. So we're gonna see. But I'm gonna get these these drop offs and um probably do a recap after I get home. Probably do a recap because then I think by that time. Um, Everything should should be in order. Everything should be loaded because you have to wait 30 minutes after drop offs for everything to update. So we'll see. All right, see you then. So my second to uh my second to last order from this was um was easy, but I was in a I was in an area with no service. So if you're in an area with no service, you can't submit the picture. Of course, you can't you know you can't submit the picture um to uh to upload it. So I was stuck there. For it seemed like almost 10 minutes because I, I had no service, so I started driving around and then it, you know, automatically updated and I was able to do the second drop off. But did, did you see? If you see that beautiful rainbow, um, something that we don't get to see that often, um, not just in Long Island but in life, we don't get to see that that often. So it's just funny how it was dark and gloomy, and then from that comes a, this, you know, this beautiful rainbow. So I just want to show you guys that. So I did my second, my, excuse me, my last drop off, and again I'm out and I don't know where I'm at. Um, just no service. That's why some some orders I don't take that's close to the water, because you get close to the water and it, it it will be no service. And luckily it's not dark yet, even though it is seven o'clock out here in Long Island. Um, normally um, by six, you know five six it gets dark. Um, but you know the sun is still out for a little bit. But normally when you when you do deliveries out here, it's like late after six o'clock. It'd be pitch black, and these places don't have no no certain no service no no lights no no uh no numbers on their mailbox or doors or on the on the floor um it just it, it makes it very 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 difficult to do some of these deliveries so luckily i was able to get done in enough time where i had that you know i had that ability to uh when i had that ability to drop off with it some sun out there is a couple of offerings but it's going to push me further towards nassau with um Nassau, which I don't, which I don't want to do. I don't want to go out to towards Huntington and stuff like that because the ride home is, is crazy. Like right now, the ride home is 30 minutes. Um, I'm way out of my comfort zone for when I'm driving home. But again, it's not as bad because it's not as dark. Normally, it's pitch black. So now I'm just headed home and hopefully we tally up. You know, when I get home, everything should be loaded. If not, you know, I'll wait a little bit. But everything should be tallied up and we're going to see what we did today. Hopefully, I kind of came towards my goal today because I know today was a really hectic day for me. But 
again, it's something that you guys can definitely, definitely, definitely do out here in Long Island. Definitely in New York, but definitely out here in Long Island, something you can do. Um, if you put in the time and if you know what you're doing and you play it smart and you cherry pick what what you think is worth it. A lot of people just take, I see people, they just take whatever orders there. They're always in the store, always in the store, always in the store. And then at the end of the day, you burn so many miles. You, you've done so many orders, you burn so many miles and you still at, you know, 100 to, you know, barely 200 off of 10 orders where you can be patient and wait and cherry pick, you know, you know, the thing that's, that the, 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 the orders that's best for you. So if you're able to um, do that, you know, work efficiently, work smart, work smarter, not harder, um, you definitely can maximize, you know, your output. Um, so you go from there. Fortunately for me, I have a goal that I want to meet every day, um, which is 300. And if I can reach 300, I'm good. If not, let's get at least a minimum of 250. Um, anything over that, it's, it's happy. I'm happy with. But we'll definitely see and, and go from there. So, unfortunately, I wasn't able to hit my $300 range today because of a few factors, um, things that were in, in my control and things that were not in my control, but we reached 245.66, which is, again, not where I wanted to be, but uh, the goal is definitely there for myself and um, other people who who live out on either in New York or Long Island. Um, I think it's definitely doable. It's definitely doable if you put in the time and effort. Of course, you can make more. Um, but then you have to start factoring other costs as well. Um, wear and tear on the car and um, gas mileage and things of that nature. But it's definitely doable. I just want to show you guys my way or my method of doing it. Um, every day is a challenge, man. But it's fun. Um, definitely got in my steps today. Definitely got in my steps today. I think I did about 8,000 steps. I think I'm queued for uh, 6,000. So every mile, every every mile, every um every day, I'm pretty much walking um between five and seven miles i believe it is five and seven miles so again i didn't reach my goal today but you know it is what it is and you know we finished strong we finished strong we started off so we finished strong so that's the main thing it's not how you start but you know how you finish so definitely um we're gonna try it again tomorrow man we're gonna try it again tomorrow but again it's definitely there if you guys are willing to go out there and get it um don't feel ashamed to be doing it. i know some people are you know some people are feeling ashamed to go shop for other people but you know, those are the same people that's at home doing nothing. <laughs> so you can, you know, get a little exercise in, um, and definitely make 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 your money in these um these um <laughs> pandemic times. So it's definitely doable. Um, any questions, please leave them in a the comment. I'm I'm be happy to answer any questions or um, give out of you know the little bit of advice that I have. <laughs> so again, until next time, later.